Okay, so it is Sunday. It is rainy, crampy outside. It's supposed to rain all day. It's like 48 degrees right now, but it was uh, it was like 60 yesterday, or just about 60. And I broke an old fire truck, so we're gonna see if we can go fix it today. Plus, I broke the aerator. Now the deal with the fire truck is it's a 1955 Ford F700 fire truck. I've showed it in past videos. I drive it in all the local parades, um, and that truck is my baby. But anyway, it had a uh, had issue where a lot of the wiring from the previous owner was all crusted, corroded up. So yesterday I went and started taking all the connections off one by one. I cleaned them all up with a. Uh, a little angle grinder and a little cookie on the end or biscuit whatever you call them everyone calls them something different they're little like brillo pads and i cleaned them all up nice and shiny put them back together and uh put dielectric grease on them and then when i got done doing it, i did them all one at a time so i knew where everything went even took pictures of the way it was set up and uh i got done with the whole thing and go to start it and it won't even it won't even start it won't even try to start something's wrong so it has three 12 volt starter solenoids on it. I have no idea why. I don't believe that there should be that many by any means. It originally was a six volt system. Somebody converted it over to 12 volt. And I think that's when they did it. And But the guy that owned it before liked to cob and hack a lot of stuff. So um, I don't know. What the, what the deal is. So out of them solenoids, we couldn't get three. We called every parts store in the area. We could only get two. So the third one really isn't a big deal anyway. I don't think it has one wire that goes to it for the headlights and that's it. And then there's nothing even coming out the other side of the solenoid. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, but anyway, so we changed out the two main solenoids and uh, it, it still won't start. It won't do anything. So I have an idea of one of the wires I may have put back on in the wrong place not that i think it should make any difference at all from where i have it to where it might actually supposed to be and on top of that uh, i went to aerate a lawn and i kept breaking shear pins one after the next the uh the tines were full of hardened up dirt i never cleaned out after the last time i aerated the ground was way too hard i should not have been trying to aerate anyway so it was a lot of hard impact plus the chains were loose and I so I got home and I fixed some of that already and I figured out how to actually tighten them chains up So let's go get this day rocking and I will show you exactly what I mean with the aerator And I'll show you exactly what I mean with the fire truck So this is the truck for those of you that don't remember it when I drive it in the parade It is a 1955 Ford F700 This is the old fire truck so Let's get into this and see exactly what the deal is here. So this is what the inside of a 1955 Ford fire truck looks like. Here's the seats. Pretty plain Jane. But anyway, this is the master switch for the batteries. So you turn it up to where it says both, and that kicks both batteries on. And then you turn the key forward, and you press this button, and it starts it. But underneath here is the access panel turn this pulls right off and then down here is the two batteries and then there's three solenoids there's the two solenoids I replaced which are if I can show you better there's one solenoid right there and the other one's right there and then there's the old one that just has one wire going to it for nothing and there's two terminals down there multiple terminals and one i think is supposed to go over to the other terminal and i'm not really sure if that's right or not um but i'm i thought i had it on the center one so it's this main one right here and it goes right to that center rod that connects the two solenoids together. And I put it on here, and I'm thinking it was supposed to be over here on this one. I'm not really sure, so we're going to check it and find out. So as you guys can probably see, this garage is a mess. 
I have everything in here. I have the Toro over here, the 56 deck for the Walker over here, not the one from the B, the one that goes on the MT. The height kit should be here any day for that. My dealer ordered it and drop shipped it right to me. And I have the aerator in here. So I tried to go and aerate a lawn uh, yesterday for my wife's best friend. And it turns out their soil was so hard, dry, and, and compacted. I, I didn't think the yard would be that dry, but it was. So, and I still had um, dirt packed in all of the tines from the last time I did. I never cleaned them out after, which you should do. Because instead of actually just the plug going in and pushing the old dirt up through and pulling a new plug it was just like solid packed in so it jars the whole back end so i broke shear bolt after shear bolt i also found another issue where the chain was dragging on the steel framing in there and so that kept binding and then snapping shear bolts so i got home last night found the adjusters for both sides they were both loose i moved them tightened those chains right up I pulled all the tines off because I have like a hundred of them and I put all brand new tines on there and the other ones I was soaking in water. Once it softens up, I'll pound that old dirt right out of there and it'll be good to go. So uh, this thing's running great, but it just didn't do the job yesterday. So as soon as that ground softens up, I'll be back to it. Let me show you what I did. I explained to you guys before how I had that issue with the Toro. Um, with that front tire, that brand new tire. When I redid it this winter, I put brand new uh, rims and tires front and back. Um, not rims in the back, just brand new tires. But the front, I did rims and tires, pneumatic tires, and they were $120 for the set of them, or $129, something like that. But the thing is, is that one front cap leaking air. And so that's when I pulled the MT out last Monday and ran the 56 side discharge deck on it. And... Um, and I switched back to the Toro on Tuesday and ran it all week long and the tire didn't go low one time. But before that, I got irritated with it, so I wasn't messing with it and I ordered a set of run flats. Now run flats, uh, the puncture free tires and rims were like $200 no matter where I looked them up. So I found a universal set online that was like 48 bucks for the rim or for the run flat rims and tires. And uh, they were the same exact size I need. And so I ordered them last Sunday because I was irritated with that tire and having the problems with it. And uh, I figured I'm just going run flats like I have in everything else and I'll be done with it. So like I said, for like 50 bucks shipped to my door, I found them and then I ran that tour all week long and the tire never leaked one time. But yesterday the run flats came in and here they are, flat free, solid tires. I mean, perfectly solid tires. They're the exact size I need and it comes with the extra bearings and sleeves just in case you need them for a different size but these will go right on my Toro. So, of course these came in after the tire doesn't leak now. So, but anyway, I have those, so I'm gonna switch out to them anyway and I'll just keep the other ones as backups. But uh, let me show you what else we're getting into here. Okay, so we're gonna join the sticker game like everybody else is obviously. People have been asking me for a long time and I really didn't have an interest in it, but everybody is doing their logos. So you know me, I can't be like everybody else. I have to be different, so I changed it up. This is what I did. If you get, hopefully this will come in clear and you guys will see this. That's the stickers I made. It's a picture of Billy and I standing there at one of my properties. I posted this picture this picture on Instagram last year. I had a hundred of them made. So if you guys are interested and want one of them stickers, email me for the address where you can send us one of your stickers and then we will send you one in return. I'm not just gonna send these out to everybody because I only printed a hundred and I'll go through them super quick if I do that. So that's the deal. Email me and give me or i'll give you the address of where to send it to once we get yours we will send one right back to you in return that's how those are going to work out countryside.lawn at yahoo.com so that's about it i really don't have anything entertaining for you guys today just a little bit of my day on my sunday what i'm doing it's rainy it's nasty outside but the first few days of this week are supposed to be nice so billy and i are going to get a bunch of mowing cracked out it will be officially our fourth week of mowing uh, which is great because usually in my area we don't start till like the third week in april to the first week in may so to be mowing for four weeks already or three weeks already going into our fourth week that's huge for us and we're super happy and grateful to be doing it um, but tomorrow we will have a regular vlog for you guys with a bunch of mowing footage but that's it for today just wanted to kind of bring you guys along for my day and show you what I'm doing on this Sunday where it's rainy I'm gonna edit this get it up and I'm just 
going to relax for the rest of the day. So we will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit that scribbity bobbity button.